Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economic events, charts and important levels on the forex pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Now guys, as usual, let's take a look again in the gold market. So as we said in the weekend, it seems that Marcus has chosen the short term direction. Currently we can't yet say that this is uh, some continuation of the long term trend. But at the same time, indirect signs shows that, uh, well, bullish support stands more or less significant. As you can see, all trends now stands bullish. I mean, monthly, weekly, on a daily chart. Here you could see the trend stands bullish. So currently we treat by far this as a pullback. Hopefully it may be a bit stronger. But in the current environment in general, overall performance on the gold market seems a bit surprising, guys, because, well, um, it is relatively rare it happens when you see when you could see the performance of the interest rates in such a manner that we see on the 10 year yield that guys the performance of the april from the 2.3 to the 2.8 it's just for a two weeks market has passed from half of the percent in the 10 year yield this is very fast in the current environment and currently as you understand the questions concerning the yield curve uh inversion and uh small spread between the 2 and 10 uh, yields so currently it's taken off of the table gradually and with the performance when the interest rates are accelerating um, it is well not typical for growth on the gold market as well usually it, it makes some pressure on the gold just because uh, as higher yields are rising it's more attractive they become for investing and that makes uh, investors in a common situation take the money out from the non-interest bearing assets such as the gold and put them in some high dividend yields maybe stocks and uh, on the bond market but this is in a normal environment in the current situation it seems that maybe uh, this growth on both assets uh, is possible when we have some support from the geopolitical situation maybe some rumors exist on the market some insight or something of that sort that maybe some decision could be made in the nearest future that supports demand for the gold or gold also keep growing if the interest rates reflects the problems in the united states economy which is also probable and from that standpoint it is very interesting to consider as performance of the gold as well so as a result of this recent action we have to adjust the b and c points because market moved above the previous top where initially c point were standing and currently we have another shape of the abcd patient but it's also not final because we do not know where this uh, prediction will be finished so besides currently at the right moment uh, at the current moment we are not considering taking the short position immediately because trend stands bullish and uh, this pattern is not yet been placed on the lower time frame uh, most the market has completed the setup that we discussed um, in the weekend so once we've got on friday the breakout of this triangle we said it's more probable that market should hit near around 1965 1970 whereas abcd pattern should be completed confidence resistance should be uh, com uh, touched and then we will see what will happen next so for position taken we intend to consider two moments first of all price behavior around this area second response of the market on the strong support it means that if for instance we will see consolidation under the confluence in the shape of the triangle for example it will be a clear sign that market intends to keep going higher with the next target around 2000 it's next major resistance or if we will see for example uh, retracement with the reaching of the confidence support next support um, and pro proper reaction on it we also could consider taking the long position these two moments to keep an eye on so on the current situation for those who would like to buy you should wait for reaching of the strong support so we intend to take the position only on the strong support areas first one 1936-1940 it's just because of the rising interest rates still bring lots of risk for the cold market that's why uh, 
it is it might be a bit uh, tricky to trying to jump in uh, the market not at the strong support there besides when the market hits the strong resistance the market's calling around it it also not the good area for taking immediate position so for instance market could form some some something like the abcd passion here it's first level next one that we intend to keep an eye on if market of course reach it it's 1920. so for taking the short position guys if you would like to make the scalp short trade i would uh, warn you about the op target so um, mostly market already shown reaction seems like op has been hit but uh, theoretically it is not has been touched yet so if even you will use as a point not the absolute law but the law when the upper direction starts even in this situation you can see the op also has not been reached currently it's difficult to say whether the market to make last effort to complete op for example forming the butterfly here before retracement starts or not or it will be mined at triple two and market just start dropping but if you intend to go short you have to place stop so that will be count on the possible reaching of the op area i will show you the chart futures chart of the gold and here is even more evident so this is the same abc depression on the futures and you can see that extension 127 extension of the most pressing swing it precisely agrees with the op this is 127 it means that here it might be shape of the butterfly so market could for instance form something like that to complete the op and then it could start downward action so if you would like to go short with this setup you need to place stop above this area just to foresee the possible upward spike that might complete the op target uh, or wait for this scenario wait for this passion and once it will be formed then make a decision about the taking the short position so that's been said for the bulls we are watching either for forming triangle here or response on the major support areas that we have mentioned for the bears keep watching for the bearish pattern or is if you still would like to take a position immediately just place stop in advance of the possible reaching of the completion of the op target here on the hourly chart